we will discuss about genomic dna isolation and purification first let's see why do we need dna actually we need dna to detect clone gene and to detect different species to detect sequence specific dna region and to make recombinant dna first we will see what steps are involved in the isolation and purification of genomic DNA? First step is growing and harvesting of bacterial cell culture in case if we are interested to isolate DNA from bacterial cells. And second step is bacterial cell lysis and removal of cell debris. And in third step, we remove contaminating biomolecules like proteins and RNA from cell extract. And fourth step is removal of RNA contamination by RNA's enzyme and fifth step is precipitation and concentration of genomic DNA. Now let's discuss these steps one by one. So in growth of bacterial cell culture, we grow bacterial cells in media like LB media and M9 media and the growth condition for E. coli cells are growing them at 37 degrees C by shaking at 150 to 250 rpm and we grow E. coli cells in LB medium and second step is harvesting of bacterial cells by centrifugation so after acquisition of appropriate cell density of bacterial cell culture by monitoring the optical density at 600 nanometer actually optical density at 600 of one correspond to approximately 8 into 10 to power 8 E. coli cells per ml and then we harvest the bacterial cells by spinning the culture at 300 to 800 gram for 5 to 10 minutes and next step is bacterial cell lysis and removal of cell debris so in cell lysis the nucleus and the cells are broken up thus releasing the DNA so this process involves mechanical disruption like vortexing and sonication and the other one is chemical method here we use different enzymes and detergent like lysozyme edta and sds and we also use proteinase k to dissolve the cellular protein and free the dna so in cell lysis the bacterial cell disrupt by mechanical or chemical disruption method and we get cell extract and in next step we centrifuge the appendrope and we get cell debris at the bottom of the appendrope and dna and rna and protein will be suspended in the supernatant so the fourth step is removal of contaminating biomolecules from cell extract here we do deprotonation step in deprotonation we can use different method like phenol chloroform extraction method so in phenol chloroform extraction method the phenol denature protein whereas chloroform will facilitate partitioning of aqueous and organic molecules whereas in protease treatment we use proteinase k enzyme to degrade protein that are easily removed by phenol so this one is the phenol chloroform extraction method here the apis containing cell extract we mix it with phenol so by mixing it with phenol it will result in three different layers and we get dna and rna in the aqueous layer whereas in ethanol precipitation ethanol help to precipitate dna and it will be corrected by centrifugation and the fifth step is removal of rna contamination here we use rnas treatment and RNSA and RNA T1 is used to remove RNA from DNA and sixth step is precipitation and concentration of DNA here we use sodium ions sodium ion will help to neutralize the negative charge on DNA molecule and making them less water soluble and more stable whereas alcohol isopropanol and ethanol is then added and they cause precipitation of DNA from the aqueous solution since it does not dissolve alcohol. So precipitation then followed by desalting of DNA 
tell it by 70% ethanol and then we do centrifugation and we air dry the pellet and then we resuspend the DNA pellet in an appropriate TE buffer or water. Normally two different ways are used to concentrate the genomic DNA. First one is pulling the genomic DNA here. We add ethanol in concentrated DNA solution and then DNA fibers attach to the glass rod and we take it out. And the other method is ethanol precipitation. Whereas in ethanol precipitation, we use ethanol. It will help to precipitate DNA that are collected by centrifugation. And the last step is purification. So after separation of DNA from aqua solution, it is then rinsed with alcohol, a process that is known as purification. So purification will remove all the remaining several debris and unwanted material. And once the DNA is completely purified, it is normally dissolved in water or TE buffer again for convenient storage and handling. So in this method we can easily isolate and purify genomic DNA from bacterial cell culture. So it's all about today's lecture.